this spare tire cage here in the back, which captures the 58 inch Mickey Thompson spare tire with an exhaust port exiting through the center of the wheel, which is fed into by an eight into one header into a five inch collector. This spare tire assembly can swing down and contact the ground and you'll be able to get the spare tire out without having to lift it four feet into the air. So the advantage of these weld nuts is they're designed for a specific DOM tubing size in chromoly and you just pop them into the end of a tube, you weld them to the tube and then you can thread the rod ends into those weld nuts and then you capture it with a jam nut. The goal is to have the pivot point be on the same plane that the curve on the exhaust starts at so that when the tire swings out, it follows the arc of the exhaust. And the other cool thing about this design is that when the tire is in its mounted position, the top of the tire has a cage around it. So if the vehicle were to flip, it would just slide along that cage without being hung up on rocks because the tire is completely encapsulated by the cage. With those polyurethane bushings, it's going to capture the differential on a plate and it's going to capture the shock mounts on top. So now I'm making probably the coolest part on the whole vehicle besides the trailing arm. This is going to be the most prominent piece because you'll always be able to see it. Most of the stuff that I found on the trophy truck suppliers websites goes up to about an inch for rod end size but these are double that because the tires are double anything that's out there. I didn't want the tubes to be going through the part. I wanted the part to clamp to the tubes. 